everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am nurse patients in today's video we'll be talking about understanding menstrual cycle this video is made for women ladies boys men husbands wife young girls female children medical students and even students generally as social and commercial students who want to know about menstrual cycle why is it important that you understand menstrual cycle for a man the knowledge of menstrual cycle is very important in your home as it will help you predict the time your wife will be ovulating and the time that is right to engage on invest in sexual activity that will lead to conception and child deaths as a woman, it is very important for you to know about menstrual cycle and understand it properly to be able to help you appreciate that changes that is from each phase to the other phase and what these changes can do to your body. If you are new to this YouTube channel, you are yet to subscribe, please kindly hit the subscribe button. If you are returning viewer stroke subscriber on this channel, I am saying thank you welcome back so we'll be talking about menstrual cycle what is menstrual cycle menstrual cycle is a natural process that occurs in the female reproductive tract and i added female so it cannot occur in a man except there is an abnormality in that particular man because menstrual cycle is only for females and women so menstrual cycle have a lot of faces in it but most times people have just limited menstrual cycle to just menstruation menstruation is just one of the phase in the four phases of menstrual cycle so what are those phases of menstrual cycle there are four phases in menstrual cycle one of it is the menstrual phase the second is the follicular phase the third is ovulation and the fourth is the luteal phase and i will be telling you what happens in each of these four phases and why you need to know about it so stay tuned enjoy yourself as we are about to get to the most fun part so first the menstrual phase the menstrual phase is the first phase of the menstrual cycle it is that phase in which there is the shedding of the uterine lining and it is also called menstruation or period so it is characterized by bleeding seen of blood which we call the menstruation or the period it is a monthly activity too the menstrual phase takes about three to seven days averagely to from start to finish so for some individuals it might take longer than that so it is three to seven days for the menstrual phase the next is the follicular phase what happens during the follicular phase the follicular phase takes about 7 to 10 days. It starts immediately after the menstrual phase. In the follicular phase, there is development of the follicle and the release of a dominant follicle which is called the egg. This egg, when it is being released, it is towards the beginning of ovulation. So, and it is within this period that it will help in the maturing of this follicle which is known as the egg for the ovulation phase the next point is next phase is the ovulation phase the ovulation phase is the third phase it is the shortest and it is the most important phase of the menstrual cycle why did i say that it's the most important it is the most important for individuals who are trying to conceive it is the most important as it will determine the next phase of it which is the luteal phase and it will the most important because if there is no release of this egg conception will not be able to happen and even the next menstrual cycle or the next menstrual phase would not come 
as ovulation has not occurred ovulation is the shortest because it takes 24 hours if you have followed this video carefully the first phase which is the menstrual phase lasts for three to seven days the follicular phase lasts for seven to ten days which all of them have a good number of days but the ovulation phase has just 24 hours which is a day so it is very important that you take note of this particular day and use it properly because after that day it will take another period for you to be able to achieve or materialize what you are trying to do with that particular ovulation day what is ovulation ovulation is the release of that matured egg this egg is being released from the fallopian tube and it goes down to the uterus where it waits for it to be fertilized by the sperm that is if fertilization or sexual intercourse would be occurring within the ovulation period but if ovulation does not occur we'll be seeing what will happen to that egg that has been released during ovulation fourth and the final stage of phase is the luteal phase the luteal phase takes 10 to 14 days it starts immediately after ovulation in the luteal phase a mature follicle is being ruptured which then changes its structure to what is known as the corpus luteum corpus luteum so this corpus luteum what it does is it produces progesterone that prepares the uterus for conception yes that is the work of the corpus luteum so if fertilization occurs thus if that egg tends to meet with a sperm during ovulation period the zygotes will be transported to the already prepared uterus that have been made ready by the corpus luteum but if fertilization does not occur if fertilization does not occur the corpus luteum degenerates as it degenerates remember i told you that it produces progesterone which prepares the uterus for implantation which is conception what it does now is progesterone level decreases as fertilization does not occur corpus luteum also degenerates and it prepares or it makes the uterine lining to begin to shade which would now result to the first phase which is known as the menstrual phase so if there's degeneration of the corpus luteum and a drop in the level of progesterone the next menstruation will begin as the next menstruation or menstrual phase begins the cycle starts all over waiting for that time in which fertilization would occur and menstruation will cease till after pregnancy maintaining a healthy menstrual cycle involves having a healthy living which includes healthy diet regular exercise hygiene among others these are very important tips that you need handy to be able to have a healthy menstrual cycle i hope this video has been helpful to you if you are yet to subscribe please kindly hit the subscribe button if you, if you are yet to like and turn on your notification button please do so do not forget to drop comments on this same channel. Thank you.